Not sure exactly what's going on right now with me trying to stream this, but it's not really working for me. Um, so I decided to just stream on my phone. I was trying to do it with my laptop, but that's not working. So just bear with me as I figure this out. <laughs> it's my first live. How are you guys doing? Let me bring this in here. Hold on, I gotta unplug it. Bring my tripod with me. So they told me um, I had to do it with a laptop. I downloaded everything and I tried my very, very best to follow all the instructions and download all the softwares and to no avail, I mean absolutely no avail, was I able to get logged on. So, let's see what we could do, being the problem solvers that I and we are, let's see if we can still get the ball rolling. There we go. There we have light. Let there be light. And then there was light. Now, how do I see you guys? How do I see you guys? I uh, what you're saying. Is anybody in the room? There was one person. I think they're gone now. So, what's going on? I don't know how to work this thing. Hi, you guys. So I'm trying to figure out how to get this to work. Um, it's not letting me do it on the link that I created for this particular chat. Hi, you guys. How are you? Um, I'm trying my best to see how this works. I can't see anything right now. All I see is myself. Um, hang on. Trying to live stream. It's not working. Started another video. Let me find the tab. YouTube. So yeah, how are you guys doing? This is me trying my best to figure out. This is my first live stream, so bear with me. YouTube. And let me see if I can find the link for this. I'm going to put it into the chat so that you guys can go ahead and find me. I don't know why they make it so complicated. It should just be a button that you press. But, you know. I don't know why they make it so complicated. It should just be a button that you press. But, you know. Hey, guys. Hey guys. 
So let me mute this. And let's see if more people can catch on and come on to this live feed. Hi, everybody. So we're going to do the sale today. I just wanted to go over some stuff with you guys. Unfortunately, YouTube made it impossible for me to go live, like to schedule a live and go live. I had to like download all the software and then they wanted me to like, and I did everything and it's still not connecting. I am not a tech person. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing. I'm going live on my phone. And then I opened up the, the, the page on my computer so I could see you guys making comments. If you want to make a comment, I will reply. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but let me just show you real quick. This is my house. Well, this is part of my house. This is like when you walk in. This is what you see. Um, it's supposed to be the dining room. but So this is my china cabinet. And then you have like this background, which looks like this, which is where we're going to show you the clothes. Um, so I'm just going to wait for just like maybe three or four, maybe five or more people to just log in. And then we'll go ahead and I'll go over the items with you. I'm going to sit here, put them on the mannequin so you guys can see it. In the interim, if you want, there's actually a link in the other one. Let me see if I can add it to this one. Um, I'm going to put all the information that was in the other live chat into this one. <laughs> unbelievable and um, that way you guys can have the information so basically what I did is, is, is I listed all of the items that I'm going to show you today there's like 50 pieces and then if you want one you just put it in the comment section you can pay by um, cash app PayPal uh, well I mean if you want to do PayPal but it's the same email as Zelle because um, I know some people want to pay by credit card they don't want to pay by cash so there's cash app Zelle Venmo and PayPal. Actually, let me put this up right now. Hi. If you guys have any questions and you just want to ask questions, by all means, go ahead. We're just going to wait for like three or four more people to join the chat. Um, I think people are, are catching on to the fact that there's something is wrong. <laughs> Lord Jesus, is something wrong. Um, I'm still trying to figure this out myself, my loves. So thank you so much for your kindness, your patience. I don't understand why. It didn't work at first, um, but I am doing everything I, I possibly can um, within my power. So, how are y'all doing? You want to just say something in the chat so that we can I can see um, who's here. This is five waiting. All right, so this is the first piece here, and this is a um, Leota open sweater in a cheetah pattern in a size small. But the reason that I'm wearing this is because I wanted to show you guys, like, okay, this is a small, right? I'm a double XL. Usually like an extra large or a large in Old Navy, but extra large in other things or a double XL. And I can actually put this on. It's not going to look right, just so you know, you know, because it's going to be open. So I feel like it's going to fit a small, a medium, even if the large is not going to close. The small is going to close the way it's supposed to. Um, the medium, it'll be a little bit weird, but you can get away with it. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys that. Um, if you do want it, Chick Benet is going to log on in a minute. Let me just talk to her. Uh, give me a second. If you guys want, you can check out my um, Facebook page my Facebook, my eBay page. So when you actually scroll down to the bottom of the description box, you're going to see, oh, no, it's not going to be on there because I just added it for this video. Give me a second. I'm going to edit the description box. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Edit title and description. Here we go. Control A, C. We're going to go here. Edit. And then we're going to paste it in here. Control A, B. Come on, baby. Hmm. Hi, everybody. So the first item is going to be this 
one right here. I was wearing a sweater. I just wanted to, because some of the items are small, but they fit me. You know, <laughs> because they're supposed to be oversized. So I wore a tank top because I wanted to be able to try some of the items on with you. So you kind of get an idea. I'm a, I'm a double XL normally. Oh, I wear extra large sometimes. But it just depends on the brand. Oh, okay, save. So all the information's in the description box now. I just saved it. So if you refresh your page, you're going to see that um, it has the link to my eBay store. So you can go on the eBay store, see what's for sale if you want to check out those items. Then I'm actually going to show you some of those items in this video so that you guys can see them live. And then you actually have a link beneath it. I'm actually going to be doing virtual consulting services. So if you guys want to like sit down and chat with me, it's $30 an hour. We can sit down and talk or I can do styling advice where you show me virtually like via Facebook, Facebook, FaceTime, uh, Google Duo, WhatsApp or Zoom and you show me your closet, show me your stuff and I can tell you how to style it. Um, if you just need help organizing because I mean sometimes we're just overwhelmed, we don't know what to do, our house is a mess, just let me see what's going on and then I can actually suggest things that you can purchase to actually make it a lot easier. If I send you the links while we're talking, it's within the hour. But if you just want me to like virtually go through your whole space and then come back and do like a, an assessment and then send you the links of what I recommend, that's an additional hour because it's additional work, if that makes sense. So it's another way that you and I can like get together and I can help you anywhere you are in the United States or even like Europe. I don't know where you are. Um, but right now, this is the first piece right here. Let's get the ball rolling. Let me just tell her that you're in here. So the moderator can actually communicate with you guys. Give me a second. Ah. Hi, Vonda Lover. Hi, Omi's ASMR. How are you guys doing? Uh, I don't know if you guys can log on to the other I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. They, YouTube would not let me link to the premiere that I did. If you can copy and paste the bar, what's that thing called, the search bar, and just put it in the other chat, if you guys can log on to that one too. And just tell them to come here because for some reason, it's not letting me type anything into that one. And it wouldn't let me log on to that one either. I don't know why. Let me see. All right, so I guess I'll just work with what I have. I'm not going to sit here and waste everybody's time. Um, in the other one, can I see it? Go to the other one. Um, no, control A. Okay, I figured it out. I'm just telling everyone to come to this page and then we will just start. I'm just going to start it's live so it'll be recorded and people can look at it afterward. Okay. Hi baby. Hi starring Gina as herself. You won something. Did I send it to you? <laughs> I did, right? <laughs> All right, so let's just go through the clothes because, I mean, you're going to be able to see it again once the live is over. So let me move this back. Uh, you guys are going to get a sneak peek of my beautiful, humble abode. One second. Let me move this. I just have to let the cord. There you go. All right. Oh my God, that's what I look like. <laughs> you didn't send it. Uh, I didn't. What was it that you won? I know I said. I know I told you. What was it? I have to go back and look. Um, I sent out everything else. I just felt like there was something, like I haven't heard from you or something. Hey, Chipene. Chipene is like one of the most loyal people I've had on my channel from day one. She's like Chipene and Melinda Hall. All right, so this is the first piece. I'm actually going to put the camera down so you guys can see it. 
It's not a mannequin. It is a size small. I should go back for other stuff. Leota piece. And it's an open sweater uh, in this cheetah print. So I'm going to try and run through these, but just so you guys get an idea. If you do want it, Chick Benet will work with you. Um, all of the purchasing items, like uh, if you want to go through Cash App and all that, all the tags and everything are in the description box. Uh, this is $15 because it's a top. So the dresses are $25, the tops and bottoms are $15, and then I'm going to have other items for people that are not a small because most of the things that are um, here are small. And let's go through the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet is here. I guess I'm gonna move this out of the way. So the first piece is that the second one is the scotch and soda. So this is another um put this here. That way I could see you and talk to you at the same time. There you go. There you are, my lovelies. Okay. okay. So as you can see, this is my first time doing this. Please bear with me. Uh, second hand is scotch and soda. It's these pants, if you guys are into pants like this. And I don't know if you're familiar with the brand scotch and soda. These are also, these are $15 if you want them. But then there's $10 shipping. I can fit up to two items for $10. And if it's more than two items, then it's $18 shipping. Um, it's these scotch and soda, it's called the Blake 34 by 32 gray pants. This, this one is secondhand. This is from one of my clients. It already has that pleating on the front. So it's gonna be folded to make sure you get it. This is great for work, barbecues. Um, I would roll up the bottoms personally. I just like that look. But this is great for a lot of different occasions. You can just go out to brunch with friends and a nice shirt. So this is a 34 by 32. And the scotch and soda. Then we have this one, which I love. This is the pink and white plaid tweed dress with pockets. Doesn't this kind of look like a Chanel? I mean, it's obviously not tweed. It's tweed-like. But it's just like a really cute dress. I mean... Let me just show you the pattern of clothes. I'll put it on the mannequin so you guys get an idea of what it would look like on the body. The mannequin is a size, I believe, four through six or two through four. I can't remember. So if you are small, Hey guys, let me know what size you are so I know what, what size is to focus on. Because if we don't have a lot of smalls, what's the point? So it kind of looks like this on the body. Actually, I'm going to lower it so that it, I don't have to do that. There you go. And again, it's this pattern. It's like a pink houndstooth plaid. And I just think it's really elegant. Uh, most of the things that I, I like to promote are like for brunches, you can wear this for work, you can wear this for all kinds of things. I really, really love this dress. I do think this is very casual. Now this is a little bit of a thicker material than the other ones. So for me, it kind of gives fall vibes. There you go, I can see you. Hey, that's cute, ah, right? Uh, this one's 25, and if you wanna, it's 25 or 35 with shipping. Uh, and you guys can just pay through Cash App, Zelle, or Venmo, everything's in the description box. The next one is, oh, these shoes. So these are from my client, these are secondhand. So the dresses are new. The Leota dress was new. And the, um, the cheetah print thing that was new, those were all samples from Leota. And we've had this conversation if you've been on my channel. This is secondhand. Uh, this is from one of my clients. It's the Susina shoes. These shoes are like 80 to like 100 and something dollars brand new. 
It's full soft leather. It's a very luxe feeling shoe. And this is a size eight medium. And they're just like a really cute loafer, very simple. They go with everything. Like you could wear this with a skirt, with a dress, with pants, uh, with a romper, like with everything. They just are very casual. This is more of like that quiet luxury because they look expensive because they're leather. And they're just so soft and yummy. The leather's really nice on this. So these are going to be 15 if anybody wants these size 8 medium. Then we have these heels. These are brand new. These were only tried on. They were never worn. These are an 8 and a half. And they have a zipper in the back, so it's easy for you guys. These are going to be 20. They have uh, a zipper in the back. It's a brand called Rogue. And in the foot, it has like that wrapping. So you tie it to however you want it to fit. And then you zip it on and off after that. And it looks like this. It's really pretty, right? These are some cute shoes. These are my client gave me these. So this is what they look like this and if you miss anything you can always go back and watch the live again it has zipper on the back so again you set it to however you want it and then you just zip them on and off it's a very high heel give me a second I'm gonna go grab my um, tape measure because I do want to measure some stuff for you in case you have questions and I want to tell you how high the heel is because this one is high <laughs> Okay, so this heel, this beautiful heel right here, <laughs> I, I think it's big, it's like a four inch heel. Four and a, that's crazy you guys, who wears these things? Now the cool thing, <laughs> I can't wear them, four and a quarter, it's a four and a quarter inch heel. And the cool thing is that some of the rompers that we have that are, that are long, like the long pant rompers, you can wear them with heels. So you don't have to worry about like your heels sticking out. They're just as long and they make your legs look super long. You'll see. Then we have the Leota black, white, and gray. Po I call it Pollock because it just reminds me of, of Pollock, the artist. It's this pattern. It's a V-neck. So these small dresses can actually fit a medium as well because they have so much give and stretch. And it's just a simple V-neck dress. backwards. Wait a minute. It's not v-neck. It's scoop neck. I take it back. <laughs> the tag's on the back. So it's actually a scoop neck dress with a v-neck back. Well, look at that. Creative. And so then it looks like this. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. So it's more um, demure and conservative. You could wear this again to work, lunches, brunches, baby showers, um, any event where you're getting together with people. Let me look at the comments because I want to make sure I'm saying hi to you guys. Okay. And on the back, it's a little more revealing, but it does go to like about the bra line. And this is also a size small, but I do feel like it would fit a medium just because of the stretch that it has. It'll obviously be more fitted on a medium than it would on a small, but I've, she has some other dresses that are small that are like fitted. Those wouldn't fit a medium. <laughs> so this one, if you guys want it, all everything's in the description box. So if you guys want any of these items, I'm going in order based on what's in the description box. This is the Pollock one. Then we have this wicker, blue wicker. It is... The tag is ripped on the back, just so you know. It's a small, same thing, scoop neck in the front, v-neck in the back. This is also a new sample. So all of the Leota items are brand new samples. They were just on mannequins um, in a showroom. And then she gave them to me to get rid of her inventory. And the cool thing about that is if, if we do well with this, we, if I do well with this, then I have a feeling she's going to give me more of her inventory. Oh, this is pretty because this is more than... Um, 
This is past the. Oh, I love this. I love this. Wait a minute. I'm gonna. This is really nice. I like it because it's three quarter sleeves. Look at that. And it goes all the way past the, the knee. The other ones were all to the knee. This one goes past the knee, mid cap. I love this. This is very elegant. This is very like backyard chic. Isn't that pretty? Again, you could wear this to work. It has a little loop for the belt. I always cut these things off. I don't like them. I don't think they look good. But if you have like a nice little Hermes belt, or like even an Hermes dupe, <laughs> um, but a cute little belt, you can do that. Or you can just cut it off and wear it as is. I like this a lot. This is the kind of dress that I would wear just to like go run an errand. I know it's weird. Or like, you know, somebody stops by the house and you didn't know people were coming by, right? And you're just like, oh my God, somebody's here. <laughs> You just throw on this dress <laughs> and you open the door and you're like hi and they're like you look like that and it's yeah this is my house dress <laughs> this is the kind of stuff. that's how i would do it i'm telling you this is exactly how i would roll this is so pretty for dating and this is nice i like this style i like this fit this is very um not the not the material even obviously because it's like that diane von furstenberg when she first came out that like stretchy material um but this really does remind me of like old money, the way that it fits. Look at how it fits on her body. Her body. <laughs> I like this. I love it when it's past the knee like that. Oh my God. I wish this fit me. She only had one thing that fit me in, in, in the bags that I've opened. Today I'm only showing you one and a half bags. So if anybody's interested, um, Chick Bene is going to be keeping track. So, hello. Hello, my lovelies. So if anybody's interested, Chick Bene is in the chat room. She is the moderator. She's going to be keeping track of everything. So if you're interested, just let her know. She'll put you on the list. You can email me as well, and I'll keep a, a list of who emailed me first. It's first come, first serve. And then obviously whoever pays first is going to get the item. Um, I will ship everything out by Friday. Today is Wednesday. And if anything, just talk to her. I know the cut is beautiful, right? Hey, Justin! Beautiful! Mwah! How are you, Justin? Bello, precioso, lindo como un sol. He's so cute. Have you guys ever met Justin? Justin has a show on YouTube. I mean, he doesn't post often, but he will. He'll start posting now. This is a size 14 petite. And this is just a really cool... This is like one of the colors of the summer. Electric blue jacket that you can wear over your stuff. Over dresses. You can wear it as a jacket. The reason I dressed like this is because I wanted to show you this is a 14 petite and you can close it. It zips shut. Sorry. Right? Or I just want to show you what it looks like on me because I'm a double XL. I'm like an 1820. And technically I could get away with wearing it, but I just don't like that it's so open. I want it to shut more. So this is a six, uh, 14 petite. I'm a like 18. And it closes. So if you're like between an 18, I wouldn't say 18 because my, my body morphs. If you're like a 16 or, or smaller, this would fit you. I mean, like it's fitting me. And this is a 14 petite. So you can get it if you're smaller than a 14. You can get it if you're a 14. Fits like this if you close it. If not, it's going to fit like this. I was going to do this as a giveaway, but nobody was interested in the red one because I have this in red as well. So if you want both, um, because this is secondhand, right from my collection um <laughs> it's actually going to be um 15 each so 30 dollars for both of them and honestly if you get them i'll just do the shipping for free if this is what you want because we don't have a lot of things in the larger sizes and this is from my collection so it's coming out of my pocket everything that's leota i only get 20 percent of whatever the sale price is they're going to keep the rest so just so you guys know how that works because i know some people are like wait a minute this is a robe. <laughs> this is like a pimp mommy robe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. This is like a leopard, right? This is leopard, not cheetah, or is it cheetah? I don't know. But it's this brand. This is secondhand. And it is Garnet Hill. These things are expensive if you buy them new. Small. But it is warm. This is more for like the winter. This is like that pimp mommy robe. <laughs> Like when Halloween comes and you don't know what to wear, you could just put this on top of anything and get a wide brim hat. <laughs> oh my God. 
and you could get away with it, I'm telling you. No, but this is cool just to have around the house, especially if you love animal patterns. It has like the big oversized sleeves. It comes with the belt. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's very long. <laughs> does it fit me? I'm so curious. I love trying. Oh, it does. Wait a minute. <laughs> so obviously it's not going to close properly on me, but I'm thinking you still fit a small to like a large because I'm like a double XL. So you know what I'm saying? So if you're like a small to a large and you like this and you're like, wait a minute, I, could, I know exactly how I'm going to wear it with like a black cat suit and those spiky heels and I'm going to walk in. <laughs> I don't know why I feel somebody, I could feel somebody saying that right now, right? I'm going to walk in like this with it over my shoulders and, <laughs> and use it as a coat. <laughs> I don't know, man, but if you like it, this one's $20. And because it's so big, uh, it's the $10 shipping. I'll put the difference in because it's going to be more expensive. But if you buy more than one item, then shipping jumps up to $18 because I have to put it in a medium box and I'll be able to probably fit one or two other items in there with this. It's very thick. It's very <laughs> I love this. This was the most fun one to show you guys. That was fun. Um, okay, next. Oh, where's my sweater? Let me put my sweater on. This one I actually bought on eBay. This is mine. And it was a woman who was selling a lot of them. This is Allison Brittany, size 3X. And she was selling five of these for like 30 bucks, so I bought them. And that's why I have five of these, not this one, but like a whole bunch of them. Here we have, oh, you're so funny, honey girl. Hey, baby, honey girl, I'm coming. I'm coming to Maui. You guys, do you guys want to see me and honey girl collaborate? She's in Maui, I want to go to Maui. My Tantra teacher lives in Maui, so it would be like a two for one. And I just want to go for myself. If you guys are interested in seeing a collaboration between me and Honey Girl K, let me know. I actually am going to post a video soon. Her sarong came in. She has a store. Honey Girl K, put, put your link in the, in the comment section. Let everybody go to your store. She's from Hawaii. She's got some really cool stuff. And when those sneakers come in, let me know. Because I really wanted those sneakers, man. She had like these Converse type sneakers that had like this brown and black Hawaiian kind of print. So this is what I was talking about with the rompers. It has pockets. The pockets go in. Most of the Leota stuff has pockets. And this is a size extra small. Bullshit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. This is extra small? Nah, bro. This is like a small. It says extra small. I give this extra small. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Excuse my language. I'm so sorry. This is what the pattern looks like. This is not. Okay. So look. I'm six feet tall. This is little tiny though. Maybe a foot and a half. This is for like a five foot person. This is really big. So I feel like if you're a small or an extra small and you put this on, you'll be able to put heels on comfortably. You might have to get it hemmed if you're not wearing heels. I can't imagine this is going to fit. Let's see what the inseam is. Because this is a really, really big inseam. How's it going, people? I know, right? Gina. Okay, so this is the inseam. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, well, I take it back. The NCM is 21, so I guess it would be short. Is that the arm? That's the NCM, yeah. Well, well, you know what? I also think it's a little bit, you know, like, I don't know, like from your waist to your crotch. This is the waist, right? Where is it? This is the waist, and this is the crotch. I feel like the crotch is really low. Let me measure the space, <laughs> space between the... That is about 15 inches. So I feel like this is going to be a little bit lower, like lower than your actual, and then it, it's going to go down to the floor because this is, this is pretty, pretty long for a short person, for an extra small. Leota, what are you doing? That's not her name. I can't tell you what her name is, but that's not her name. That's not my name. That's not my name. Oh, the prison dress. Did I show you that one? Here. I can't put that on the mannequin because it has legs. So this is like a really cool prism dress. Again, Leota small. All the really, really nice things I left for the end, which I might just pull out now while I have some people here. Um, those are my favorite pieces I left for the end because I figured people would be logging in late. And ah. I know I'm so brutal with, with the doll. 
But it's because it's so hard to get it on. Let's get it on. It comes with a belt. This is really fun. This is more, you know what this reminds me of? Delight. The chills got my spills up my back. Good and good with satisfaction and when you're done. Satisfaction on what's to come. <laughs> this is what I'm like <laughs> all the time. <laughs> when nobody's watching. More or less you get the idea. And you could tie the bow or whatever. You could use your own belt. If you don't like this one, you could wear like a skinny black belt. And this one also falls below the knees. But not the way the other one did. That blue wicker one, oh my god. That was so elegant because that's like a midi. You know what I mean? Like this goes below the knee, but just below the knee, I feel like. Or maybe a little bit more than that. But the other one was just gorgeous. That one's like mid-calf. I love this. The chills got me spit back. Pretty, right? To me, this is more of a fun dress. Like, I'm the fun girl that wears colors. I never wear the color black. You know? <laughs> not in my wardrobe. Like, maybe in here, but not often. What else is everybody saying? It might be high waisted. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> What's the next one? Okay, so then it's the Tabitha dress. So you're going to see this pattern a lot, you guys. This is the Tabitha dress. Now, there is a delay, so if I respond late, it's because there's a delay. This is a size small. It is the scoop neck again with a lower scoop neck in the back. This pattern is very popular. She has a lot of items like this that you're going to see today and in other sales if you guys decide to come back. It's this nice fuchsia color. Do I have to put it on the model? I don't think so. As you can see, it's like a... A fit and flare kind of thing fitted on the top flare on the bottom and it looks like this I mean could put it on the mannequin. what I should have done is take pictures while they were on the mannequin and do a two for one but I think I could just grab a picture from the screenshot of the video to post it on eBay and I do have items on eBay you guys there is a link in the description box that'll show you the items that I'm selling on eBay Oh my god, this is so freaking cute. Jesus Christ. This reminds me, you know what it is? I'm obsessed, if you guys didn't know, with the 1950s. And this is so like 1950s, right? Donna Reed. You know, the Beaver's Mom kind of dress. Like, isn't this so 1950s cute? Oh my god. Look at how adorable this is. This is called the Tabitha. So this is going to be more of a fitted one. I wouldn't recommend getting this if you're a medium because it's literally going to fit you the way it's supposed to fit you if you're a small. Um, let me know what size you guys are so I can show you some items in your size. I know, right? I wish I was that size too. It's so, it's so not fair. Let me start showing you some size, some stuff in some other sizes. So this is a joie. If you guys are interested, just say that you're interested, and then Chick Benet will talk to you. Um, this, these shirts are like a hundred something dollars each. This one is secondhand. All of the other things I've shown you right now are, are brand new samples. All the Leota items are brand new samples. But this is Joie, J O I E. Look it up. And all of their shirts are like ridiculously expensive. This one would be twenty five. Just because it's an expensive item and it's not mine. It's actually another client of mine. And they wanted a lot more. And I was like, girl, sell it yourself. And she was like, fine, you sell it. So I said I could sell it for 25 I love this skirt, this shirt. So this is just beautiful. And this is one of those really expensive items that like, you know, if you know, you know. A lot of people, would, some people would wear it with a tank underneath. But this is just one of those lovely upscale pieces that, and it's a little bit bohemian, that the wealthy wear. And again, this is a size extra small, but it's not. This will fit up to a medium-sized person, for sure. This will fit up to a medium-sized person. It's just supposed to be oversized. 
This one, I'm going to show you because I feel like it'll fit a lot of people. This is the small. It comes with the belt. It, the red doesn't look good on the camera, but it looks better in person. Um, the belt is somewhere. I just can't find it right now. Chick Benet, this is more near the bottom. And this is like a kimono style top that you can wear over anything. You can wear this as a robe around the house. I'm sorry, it does have like a belt. I just can't find it right now. And let's get closer so you guys can see it. I'm going to try it on so you can see how it fits me. It's just a really pretty pattern. This is very Hawaii. Let me girl pay. Ask me questions. Talk to me. Whatever you want. I'm here. Okay. It's very big. You see how big it is on the arms? So even, I'm a double XL. I could wear this. Do you know what I'm saying? Like anybody could wear this. So even though it says small, you're not limited to it being small. Now if you wanted to wear it, like even if I closed it and I belted it, this is what it would look like on me. Being a double XL. I would never close it. I would literally just wear it open like this. And look at how big it is. So if you are bigger than a small and you're like, none of this stuff fits me, this might fit you. Because it fits me. I should probably keep it, right? I don't wear red like that. I don't. All right. Let me know what you guys think of these kind of items. This is only one and a half bags. She's got a ton of stuff. And she's got like a bunch of winter stuff. I want to show you this one. This is the black cutout. Look at this. It looks like faux leather over a navy blue dress. Look at that. Isn't that like... I don't know. Let's put it on the mannequin and see what it looks like. The moment I saw it, I was like, I want it! And when you touch the inside, the inside is lined and it feels like satin. Is it reversible? Wait a minute. I mean, technically... I mean, technically, it's reversible. There is... You would have to take off stickers on the back. I mean, you could wear this as a blue satin dress if you want. It's going to feel weird because of the leather on the inside. But technically, if you wanted to reverse it, that's crazy. Let's put this on the mannequin because I'm curious what it looks like on the body. Shoes got me spilled up in the back. Interesting. This is very like punk rock couture, even though I mean the materials are couture. This is interesting. Knee length dress. This is very different. If you're into like really different things, this is leather over satin. Faux leather over satin. $25 plus $10 shipping. So $35. And then if you buy up to two pieces, you could just add another piece for $25. If you get three pieces, then you have to pay $18 for shipping and you can fit up to six things in a box. This is really interesting. This was, I was going to do this as a giveaway, but then I decided to include it in here. So that was all brand new stuff, samples. This is secondhand. It's by Blue Blush Small. I'm selling this for 15 if anybody wants it. It's 25 with shipping. And it's just like a romper, shorts, long sleeve knit. And if this fit me, I'm telling you, I would have kept it. Because I love this kind of stuff with some really like crazy tights and some army boots. That's just my style. But if anybody likes this, I mean, the, even the buttons are cute. Look at that. So this would be $15 plus another $10 for shipping $25 if anybody likes this. And then you can fit another thing in the actual um, package. This is a skirt. Ah, it's a white cutout skirt like that with a taupe skirt on the inside. But the taupe skirt on the inside stops here. And then your legs show. So this is like a, for a specific type of person. You guys know what dress is like. And it's, it, it would fit me. I mean, I'm six feet tall. So this is very long. So if you're short and you want this, it's a size small. 
Um, <clears throat> it does have a little bit of a side slit right here. Oh, somebody. Okay, that's just my roommate. Uh, and if I mean, if you're small, if you are a small but you're tall, this is good for you. If you're small and you wear very high heels, this is good for you. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get this hemmed, and I think that's gonna be a pain. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't want to just sell you something and then you're like not happy with it. So if you're one of these people that wears super high heels and you're short, this would work. If you're a tall person and you never find things long enough, this would work. This one, and that's Leota Small. This is a who, what, where small. This is also brand new with tags. $27.99, I'm selling it for $10. And it's this eyelet lace sleeve. It's a peasant one, so it goes over the shirt like a peasant. You know, would this fit me? <laughs> Don't break it. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna break it. <laughs> it's not gonna fit my arms. Darn it. Okay. That would have been awesome because if it fit me, I would have kept it because I do like it. I like I like peasant stuff. I don't know why I just do. Things that are off the shoulder. Um, I think it's just so elegant and sexy to wear off the shoulder things. But this is an off the shoulder shirt, very loose around the waist. Loving the classic silhouettes, right? Meow, meow. <laughs> Oh, you saw my baby? That was Kamir. 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 Her name is Kamir because when she was little, this is really small. This is specifically for a small. You see that the tag is coming off on this end, but it has this really cool tag here that says birds and the bee. Mira eso, yo no sé por qué. Also small. Is it a small? It looks like an extra small. Yeah, it is an extra small. I was like, this looks tiny. So for my extra small ladies, I know you guys are out there. You'll be watching this later on. Check it out. Oh, let me stop. <laughs> Black and white geometric kaleidoscope dress. This is what the kaleidoscope dress is. It's okay. My roommate's trying to figure out how to get the rent to me. This one is, I don't know what this is. Uh, this is a very expensive brand. You can look it up. B.YU. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry. And it has this. You see this material? It's like faux leather, but like faux cracked leather. But when you touch it, it feels like suede. So you touch it and it feels like suede, but it looks like this and it's a long skirt. And it's, it's interesting because in the front, It doesn't have a size. So I'm, gonna sh I'm just going to measure it. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Because I don't know what size it is. You guys can tell me. When laid flat, the top, which is the high waist, is 14 inches. I'm guessing that's a small. But then on the back, look at the back bottom. Do you see that? On the back, it has like this material. Oh no, it isn't. The back is shorter. So it looks like that. So the back is shorter than the front. Oh, well, no. Unless you wear it sideways and I got it wrong. Then it's asymmetrical. I think that's the way it is. You can either wear it sideways and have it be asymmetrical on the bottom. Or... You could wear it this way. I think it looks better this way, because look, it has it has like these pleats on the back. I'm gonna put this on the mannequin. So it has the pleats on the back, and then the bottom is asymmetrical because of the pleats, how they go down. Very interesting, my roommate is not giving up. It's okay. <laughs> he's trying to pay his rent, but he reached his limit on like how many Zelle transactions he can do, and he's like so scared. I'm like, relax, just, Pay it by the first. <laughs> I don't care. So what's up, people? You have any questions for me? You want to chat? Let's chat, honey bunnies. That's why I'm here. I want to talk to you guys, too. 
Um, if you guys missed the beginning, I am doing online services, so I will sit down and I have virtual styling and virtual organization that I'm offering for $30 an hour. And we can like FaceTime, Zoom, Google Duo, you show me your closet and your stuff. We're getting ready for an event. We can talk about hair, makeup, whatever you want to do. Um, or if your house is a mess and you just need help organizing, this is so interesting. Look at this. Okay. So it looks like this, right? But then when you turn it around, because it has these pleats in the back, like right here, how it comes out, and on this side, and then it goes out further, and then the back is a little bit shorter. That is so interesting. Hmm. I've never seen anything like this before. But that's why it's BYU, B.YU. You can look them up. And it feels so interesting. Like, this is the kind of thing that when you're sitting next to someone, you just want to keep touching their lap. Because you're like, what is that feeling? So, for all my double XL ladies, this is actually on her website. I think I've showed you this in another video, or maybe I didn't publish it yet. But this is a medium. For anyone who's a medium, this is actually going to fit a large. Might even fit an extra large, to be quite honest with you. But I think it would. Because, look, it looks like it's going to fit me. And I'm a double XL. So, this will fit, like, it's a medium, but it'll definitely fit a large might fit an extra large, but this is on her website, the Leota website, and they only have double XL available. So if you are a double XL and you like this, this is like a really fun party kind of outfit. Um, you want to cover everything up, but you still want to look chic. You want to look different. You want people to be like, oh, wait a minute. This is it. This is a medium, but it'll fit like a large. It might fit an extra large, but I don't want to quote that. But it's on her website now, but only in a double XL for $65. This one is 25 here. All of the Leota dresses are 25. This one is just a simple dress for work. I'm not even going to put it on a mannequin. Simple kind of cutie patootie dress. This is secondhand large. This will fit an extra large. Um, New York and Company. It's a simple brown dress. What am I doing for Memorial Day? I have no idea. So the guy that I was talking to, we're obviously not talking, but he wants to be my friend. It's so weird, right? So he wants to be my friend. This is just like a very simple dress. It's just going to fall on the body very simply. This is a large. Um, for anybody who's a large and you wanted something... You could get that jumper, you can get this. There's going to be more stuff I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm just going to start grabbing it. I have a free people outfit. So he's telling me, I've been trying to get him to go to Long Island with me. I wanted to spend a night at these hotels in the Hamptons, all the way up in, you know, Long Island. And I was like, hey, you know, like, I'll pay whatever, because I wanted to go, but I didn't want to go alone. So then I finally got my friend Indra to say that she'll go with me. So we just have to schedule a day, because I want to stay at one of these resorts, because I need it. After the back pain, after everything, I was literally immobilized, you guys, in bed for two weeks. Like, all the videos you were watching for two weeks were pre-recorded because I was in so much pain. I couldn't get out of bed. I literally had to crawl on my stomach on the bed, put my legs off the bed so that my feet were touching the floor just so that I can get into an L position. So I would be on the bed. I'd have to push myself off, get into an L position like this, and then kind of push myself up. Like, it was so bad. And so I was like, you know what, I, I want to go away, I want to sit by the beach, I want to be by nature, but I didn't want to go alone. And he and I had already decided to be friends, so I was like, okay, we can go and still hang out and just be friends, right? Like, nothing's going to happen. So, I was talking to him for a while about that. Oh, this is nice. This is Fashion Nova, size large. Another large item. This is very, very long. This is long on me. So this is really long. If you're six feet tall, this is gonna work for you. If you're six feet tall with heels, this is gonna work for you. Um, I'm gonna put this on the mannequin. And, and so then I ask him, he's like, oh, I can't wait till the weekend. And I'm like, oh, what are you gonna do this weekend with your kids? Cause I know he has kids this weekend. He's like, oh, I found out that both my kids are available Friday through Monday. So I decided to book something out East. And I'm sitting here like, nice. Cause in the back of my mind, I'm like, yo bro, I've been trying to get you to hang out with me. I was going to pay. And you couldn't find time. I mean, obviously, he's, he's really booked with kids and work or whatever. 
but still, you know? And now you're gonna tell me that you're gonna do it in style. This is pretty. I like that ruching detail on the side. This is nice. If you're a size large, girls, $25. I recommend it. New with tags. Is it? Am I doing it right? Yeah. I mean, I guess you could reverse it if you wanted to, if you're more demure. And you're like, hmm, I don't know if I want, you know, all that cleavage sticking out. So then my mom calls me because God is good. And he has my back. He's like, you know what? I'm going to do something even better. And... And she was like, hey, what are you doing for Memorial Day? I just can't get it to go over the legs because the legs are so wide. But you get what I'm saying. It looks like this. It's very Morticia Adams. Um, so she was like, what are you doing for Memorial Day? And I'm like, I don't know, Mommy. I don't have plans. You know, and she's like, do you want to go to Long Island? We're going out east. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, okay. And then she just hangs up. Because that's how my mom is. She asks you a question, you answer her, and she hangs up. It's not even like, <laughs> no follow-up. Like, nothing absolutely no follow-up she's like hey what are you doing nothing oh you want to come over yeah okay click <laughs> that's my mom no follow-up whatsoever um but she's funny this i think is really pretty it's a small but i don't feel like it's a small to me this looks more like an extra small i'm not going to put it on the mannequin it's a long skirt it goes pat i think to your calf it might actually yeah, mid-calf. It's just a really pretty skirt, size small. I do, fit, I do feel this would fit an extra small only because the elastic band is tight. And I feel like when you put it on, it'll stretch. So this one's $15 plus the $10 shipping. Um, so I guess I'm going out east, but I have no information whatsoever on what we're actually doing. Because my mom doesn't do that. If anyone's interested, please let Chick Benet know. Oh, hold on what it is that you want. Let me log back on. That black dress is gorgeous, right? And then this one is a small Leota skirt. Again, beautiful. This goes a little bit past the knees. It's just really pretty. I like some of these. She's, you know what I'm saying? Like she's been around for 12 years and to be a fashion person, to be around for 12 years, it takes a lot. Oh, this is for all my people who are into Tupac. I wanted to give you guys a shot, and you too, Justin. So this is $30. This is not mine. It's my client's. It's a size large. It's a Tupac sweatshirt. It's a saint. And then it has the flower right here. Let me just... The flower. It says saint. Nothing here. And on the back it says, you either evolve or you disappear. This is from the Tupac Shakur Museum. And one of my clients was giving this up. And on the inside it says this. Wake me when I'm free. Tupac Shakur size large. So if anybody's interested in this, it's $30 plus $10 for the shipping. So $40. And I really love this. I wish it fit me. Like it almost does fit me, but it doesn't. It's too tight. But I really, really love this. If it fit me, I would have kept this. I would have been like, yeah, whatever. I'll take it off my commissions. <laughs> Dámelo. For anyone that loves free people, this is a extra small free people. It's a blazer, but you can wear it as a dress. Let me just show you. I feel like it's more of a dress than a blazer. Because look, and you can you can button it on either side because there's one button here, or you could do one button here. It doesn't matter. It buttons on either side. But only one button, so you would have to kind of pin it. But I feel like this is a dress. Like, you know, one of those, like, right? Do you see? Do you see what I see? It's like a mini dress. Or you could wear it with, like, shorts and, like, a tank top and belt it. Or you could wear it as a blazer. Or you could open it and just wear it as a jacket. But this is free people. This one is $25 plus $10 shipping. It doesn't look like it was worn. This is secondhand from one of my clients, but I'm pretty sure she told me she never wore this. It just sat in her closet. So I'm pretty sure this is new without tags. Because even I was like, does it fit me? Nope. Doesn't fit my arms at all. And this would be, it says extra small, but this is going to fit up to a medium. For sure. Medium or large. 
So she has these patterns that kind of look like Chanel, but they're not. And you know, like this is also a sneak peek to look at her brand. So you guys can actually, if you like it, you can go on her website. She doesn't have a lot of good stuff right now, but she gets a lot of good things in the fall. This is obviously new with tags. It's a small, but look at this pattern. Tell me that doesn't look like a Chanel tweed. Like it's just really nice. And there's a dress that goes with this, but they're sold separately. They're both $25 each. So this is what the jacket fits like. If you wanted to just put this over a black dress or a white dress, it has pockets. It's just like a really chic jacket. If you like this pattern and you like this style and you like the finishing on the hem, I like this a lot. I get so upset like showing you guys this stuff because in the back of my mind I'm like, I want to wear it. I know, I love the Tupac too. And then this is the dress. And we'll put it on the mannequin. It has pockets in the front. Very like 1950s mod. I feel like, um, what's her name? Was it Iggy? The model? The supermodel? The skinny one? I think her name was Iggy, right? This one fits the model much better, so I think this would also fit a medium because it's so um, easy to put on the model. Usually the small ones are really tight. And it has a really cute button in the back to keep it closed. So it has like a little bit of a uh, keyhole. I love this. I really do love these like older 1950s looks. Hands down, they're my favorites. I love them. I think it was like a really nice time where like a guy would ask you to go steady and like you just, you know, you were with the first person you were with, you know, for the most part. And like you were too busy to go out on dates because you had to do your hair. <laughs> like I can't go out with you tonight. I have to wash my hair. And it was like a legit excuse. Do you guys want to keep looking at clothes or should I just sit down and talk to you guys? Should I just sit down? I think I like I should sit down and talk. This is just a uh, small. I don't really think that I need to put it on the mannequin. It's perfectly symmetrical. Again, $25 if you guys want this dress. Perfect for work, lunches, brunches. Let me sit down and talk to you guys. Talk to me. What do you want to talk about? And then I'll go back to the, the dresses in a minute. Dime lo que tu quieres. Dime lo que necesita. What do you want? What do you want to talk about? How you guys been? What's going on? What are your favorite things about my channel? What are your least favorite things about my channel? What do you think I should change? Do you think I should do more lives just to like sit and talk to you guys? Um, give me some feedback. <coughs> Sorry, I need water. Let me go grab a glass of water. You guys write? And then I'll come back and reply. Twiggy. I knew I was close. Hi, Mama Shita. You want to say hi? You want to say hi, everybody? Come on. Let's go say hi. Look, say hi. That's Kamir. Hi, Mama. I love you too. I know. I know. Go, go. You're gonna, uh, she's hungry. But her feeding time is 10 p.m. and 10 a.m. So, I love the chatty live videos. <laughs> I think you should do more live chats. I was like, okay. My soul sister, girl, I'm coming. You think I'm kidding? I swear to God. Oh, who wants to go to Copenhagen? Oh, I just found this thing. Oh, do I have the link? Mm, it's on my phone. It's a dinner. Okay, I mean, I do a lot of crazy spontaneous things. I'm doing this. I'm going to do this probably by the fall. It's in Copenhagen. It's a thousand dollar dinner. I have to save money for it because now I got the idea. And I'm going to go do the documentary and I'm going to interview the indigenous people from Denmark, Sweden, Norway. Maybe make it like a three country trip and then try to write it off, right? And it's a 50 course, eight hour 
tasting in Copenhagen. 50 courses, eight hours, a thousand dollars. Experience, you get to dance. They have all these activities that you do in between. Like they have this one where they're like, okay, pick up the cup, put your finger in it, lick your finger. And then they put music on and you dance. I'm like, what? I'm <laughs> doing it. Who wants to do it with me? I'm serious, we could plan a trip. I'm doing this. <laughs> Aw, I love you too, Matt. Thank you. Thank you for liking my videos. Well, I have a channel called Where's Myra? W-H-E-R-E-S-M-A-Y-R-A. -E -E I think the information's also in the description box. And um, that, I, I document my travels, and it's Instagram only. And I'm going to start a channel because I've already digitized all the videos from all the trips I've been on. I used to carry like a camcorder and I'm going to call it throwbacks and I'm going to let you see them. There were videos that I took from my family, which is never going to watch them. And I'd be like, this is for you, mommy. This is for you, Ashley. When I went to the Vatican, I was like, hey, you guys, I'm not supposed to be videotaping this, this for you guys because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want you to see it. So I figured I'll just put it all, all the videos on there. And I, I joke around a lot. <laughs> I'll be like, and this. This is where they sacrificed the virgins. And I was like, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's not. This is actually where they brought things for Athena and <laughs> in Acropolis or whatever. So I joke around a lot. I'm a giant child. Don't worry about it, period. Just give me the rest in cash when you come back. Okay. So, because he keeps texting me because he's so nervous. It's like his second month here. He's so sweet. I love this guy, I really do. Such a great roommate. Um, yeah, well, that's my Instagram channel. Where is Myra? So I have a couple of channels. I have the Intimacy School, which I don't do anything on, but I'm going to be recording videos and putting them on Udemy, Coursera, all of these things. Um, and that was a school where I did relationship coaching for 10 years. I know, right? <laughs> I did classes. Um, let's talk about sex. I did classes for teenagers because the parents were like, I don't want to talk to my kids about sex. You talk to them. And I love talking about everything. I'm a giant child. They were comfortable with me. I would tell the parents what was going on, but tell them not to tell the kids because then you break the trust. And if you break the trust, you can't get it back. You can never get the trust back once it's broken. People may, may forgive you, but the trust is, you know what I'm saying? So... I taught people how to communicate. That's why, like, I know how to deal with this guy, and I know about relationships, and he's a good guy. Like, don't get me wrong. He's a great guy. He's just broken on the inside, even though he wouldn't say that. I could just tell. Like, he really is after his divorce, and he dated somebody for eight years, and then he didn't want to get married. Like, there's just a lot of trust issues there, but I don't want to get into all that. And um, so we're just going to be friends, FYI. So I have The Intimacy School. You can go to www.theintimacyschool.com. I'm not doing anything until September with that, but I am starting to make videos. Um, I will show you my room if you guys want a little bit. Uh, this is the cabinet that me and my mom bought when we went estate. We used to do a lot of estate sales. Um, I'm actually, I wanted to start my own estate sale liquidation company. I had business cards made since 2008 and now it's starting to come to fruition. So I realized the universe is backed up with like, they're like 15 years backed up with granting manifestations, FYI. So if you start getting stuff that you wanted back in the day, you're like, wow, why are you giving it to me now? Because somebody fell asleep and didn't do their job. Just saying. So I have <laughs> Give Me The Look. And if you go to givemethelook.com under services, you'll see my virtual services that I'm offering, virtual styling, virtual organization. So you can talk to me personally. Um, I, I'm going to start doing virtual sessions on the Intimacy School for people that want to talk about relationships and sex and whatever else you want to talk about. Then I have... Um, Where's Myra, which is my travel channel. And then I have another one. But, but yeah, I'm probably not going to do anything with that one. So I'm not even going to mention it. The, the Indigenous Documentary, which you guys know is my documentary. I travel all over the world interviewing Indigenous people, trying to um, record and save their methods. It's not like, oh, they live in the jungle and this is what they eat. No, it's like, how did they survive this long? What medicines did they take? Um, how do they dance? How does dancing work? Because there's something with dance that's healing. Oh, let me go read your comments. Um, ha, ha. I didn't know you had another channel. Oh my God, I need you to coach me. You're so funny. Um, thank you, Mama. Thank you for following my Instagram. Mwah. Mwah. And Indigenous documentary. Um, 
okay, so there's this thing called sound therapy, right? And I learned this from a Caucasian woman in Long Island. Hold on. Oh my God, that was so good. Whew, I love cold water. And basically what they do is they find the source of the pain and then they cup and they go, mm, right? But they make a noise and it's based on your frequency. So your frequency today may be different from your frequency years from now. And again, I'm going to open up a center maybe 10, 15 years from now along the beach and it's going to be like healing the whole body, right? So the indigenous documentary is going to pull in with the intimacy school and then bang. So it's, um, you find your frequency and it makes sense when you look at these, the, in, the Native Americans. Hey, don't make fun of me. I don't, I'm not making fun. You know when they go, hey, uh, yeah. so their sound, they're trying to find the frequency that's going to heal you. So when I was interviewing the Navajo in Sedona, they were telling me that there's a lot of people that have PTSD. Because what a lot of people don't realize is that a large majority, a, number, a large number of people in the military are Native Americans. They're indigenous people. And for various reasons, I'm not going to blow up their spot and talk about it, but I know why. But they're, you know, it also helps them get their pensions and the, you know, the money for the reservation, blah, 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 etc. Right? It's just a great way for them to make money. <coughs> Sorry. And they, um, what was the point that I was making? Anybody? What was I saying? To take part and we can collaborate on podcast. Yeah, let's do it, honey girl. I'm ready. Dirty 30. Yes, I'm going to call 30. I'm not, I'm not 30 anymore, though. <laughs> 43, baby. I'm going to be 44 on June 24th, so get excited. Um, so I was interviewing the indigenous people and they were talking about how like a lot of people have PTSD because they were in the military and they have these sound ceremonies where like you're in the middle of a circle and then they come around you and they have the drum, the flute, this and that. And it takes days to kind of find a way to reach you on the higher level. But in reality, if you really understand how things work, it's because you're trying to find your frequency. And once they find your frequency and they can tap into it, then they can manipulate the energy to help heal you, right? But you have to find the frequency. So if we can figure out how to find the frequency faster, we can start helping people on a, like a deeper level. Um, there's a, I don't know if I should tell you guys, I'm not going to tell you guys this. So the, I, I had a lot of back pain for a very long time. <sighs> I'm going to scare you. <laughs> but basically I, I, I figured out how to fix it and like, I guess I have to talk to somebody who has back pain and I'll kind of like let them know if they're interested. If you've ever had back pain, let me know and I'll talk to you one on one. But it's just too deep. I might put it on my, I have another channel which I'm never going to tell you what it's called because <laughs> I talk about crazy things on that channel. Um, but I probably talk about it on that channel. Um, but it's very spiritual. Like it's very like, you know, talking to God and coming to terms and at peace with who you are and blah, blah, blah. So I do a lot of different things. So um, why did I talk about the, oh, the sound therapy. So there is sound therapy. Um, that's why sometimes when you're feeling sad and you put on music, like your faves list, it helps heal you because that's your frequency. And sometimes when you listen to an old playlist that you used to love, you're like, why don't I like it anymore? Because you're not vibing on that frequency anymore. You've elevated. Like I, I used to eat sugar all the time and I used to like eat dessert like crazy. This is the last thing I'm gonna say. And then um, I was gonna ask you about your back pain. Yeah, girl, I will tell you in, a little zoom thing but I'm not gonna talk about it right now um I forgot what I was talking about <laughs> that's me um it, no it's it it's creepy like you have to really be into like spirits and God and believe in all this stuff in order for you to because some people say that back pain and, and it makes me think about my dad because when my dad was at the end of his days he he was in bed and he couldn't move. Like when I came, he would grab the bed and pull his body and you could see how much pain he was in just to move over so that I could sit in bed with him and hug him and we would watch TV together. Every time I came in, I would just hug him and then he would move over and then like it hurt. I saw how much pain he was in. When I had the back pain the first two weeks, I felt that and I literally felt so connected to my, I, I can't even, like I was like, oh my God, this is what he was going through. Like, oh my God. I didn't even realize he had back pain. I thought it was the stroke. I thought it was, you know what I mean, like atrophy. But he had back pain and he couldn't communicate that to anybody because he couldn't speak. 
So now I'm understanding like how everything's connected. And I was like, okay, so God is showing me how my dad felt at the end. Do you know what I'm saying? And it allowed me to communicate and see the signs. So if I ever meet somebody and I see them pulling themselves, because I couldn't get out of bed. And luckily this, this box right here, I bought a bed frame, uh, not bed frame. Uh, what's that thing called? A headboard, right? To match these two lights that I bought because I was trying to impress the guy that I was dating. And I was like, oh, I'm going to make it look cute for him or whatever. But if not for him, it's going to be for the next one. That's what I kept saying. Like, if it's not for him, it's going to be for the next one because I had to, like, talk myself out of it, right? So I'm, I'm going to get back to my dad in a minute. <clears throat> and so I had the metal headboard that I had since I was a teenager. Like, I had it and then my sister had it. And then my sister moved in with her boyfriend and then I took it. And then my mom has the same metal bed frame. That one's a, a queen. My mom had the same one in a twin. And that's in my sister's room. And she had the matching crib that she still has. That's in my mom's house. So that when my sister comes to visit, the baby could sit in the crib. It's like one of those cradling cribs. So she had the whole set because you know, it's just what you did. It was like white. It was like metal and then they painted it white, you know. So I still have it. And I was going to get rid of it. But God is good. And he knows what he's doing. So I was in so much pain, I literally had to grab the back of this and pull my body up, twist my body sideways by pulling the, the thing, and then be on my belly, push myself off the bed, I told you this, right, put my feet on the floor, then get into like an L position, push myself back, and then stand up. I could not do anything on my own. I had to pull myself up, and I had nobody to help me, like not one person in the whole world. My roommate, I wasn't going to bother him because I bothered him for everything. My other roommate wasn't around because he's new. He travels a lot. He's an engineer. So it's great because he's never here. <laughs> I like those roommates because I can walk around whenever I want. And so, you know, like I had a lot of back pain. And, and I was watching videos on YouTube about Solomon. Do you guys really want to hear this? Bro, okay, hold on. Uh, let me just read this one. Thursday. Dirty Thursday. I get questions. Oh, yeah, I, I want to go see. You put the link for your thing. I want to, Honey Girl has a link, uh, a segment called 30 Thursday, and she gets questions that people email her. Oh, yeah, you do that. Email me questions, and then we'll do, the next live will just be a talk, and then the one after that will be a sale. I don't think you guys are buying anything. Just go on my eBay page. I'll put everything on eBay. It makes it a lot easier. Unless you want to see the closed live, let me know. I'm going to get back to the thing. Let me know if you'd like to take part. Yeah, I definitely want to do it. Uh, a healing 30 Thursday. Tell us. I was wanting to ask about your frequencies. Where are your parents from? Dominican. Um, they're from there, I'm from here, and I was born here. So, I watched these videos on Solomon, and Solomon, there was this one video, and I, and I wrote everything down, and it said that there are certain spirits that attach themselves to you, and they cause strokes, pain, heart, like all these things that ail the human body. And there's a lot of indigenous cultures that believe that these are attachments. And because I'm a task rabbit, and I'm always in and out of people's houses, and homes, you know, but this one was obviously because of the car accident, you know what I'm saying, like, the kid, a kid, the Mercedes, had a Mercedes, the windows closed, the mirrors closed, and then he just opened the door, he didn't look behind him, so then my car hit it, I swerved, and there was a video, he showed the video, the dad, because he thought the video would, like, exonerate him, but it actually <laughs> made him more guilty, and I was like, no, it's clearly, you see the door open, she swerves, so it's 100% your kid's fault, 100% your fault, so I got out of that one, but, um, so the back pain came and I, you know, I was, I was upset with God as we all are when bad things happen. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I talk to God like a human. I call him G and like, I talk to him like he's my best friend and he's only my whole life. And you can't talk to him the way I talk to him because he will smite you, but he's not as me <laughs> because we're like, cool. Right. So I'm like, yo, bro, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Sorry. I was like, everything was going so well in my life. I was making mad money. My, my YouTube channel was growing. I met this guy. It was chemistry. It was fire. Everything was amazing. And then, bang, everything went away. And, you know, people are like, oh, God does that. He breaks you to build you. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So I was like, and I told him, I was like, yo, if you broke me to build me enough, like you did this already before, you've done this multiple times, like whatever. So then this girl, who's a friend of mine, who pops up whenever I'm having a moment of crisis, it's like, it's like my soul calls out to her, and it's like, girl, and she's like, I'm coming. So she's like, hey, how you doing, blah, 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 and she tells me about the book of Job. She's like, you should watch the book of Job, and she sends me a video, but I never click her links, because she's a little shady, right? So I never click her links, because she, she's just one of those people, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. 
And I was like, okay. I looked up the book of Job. I watched it. And basically the book of Job is about someone who was like worshiping God. And then he, um, the devil came and he was like, that person's only like nice to you and worships you and, and whatever because you give them rewards. If you didn't give them rewards, then they wouldn't love you. And so he's like, let me, let me, let me curse him. Let me do these things and see if he's still faithful to you. Killed his whole family, did all these horrible things. And then the guy was like, why have you forsaken me? I still love you, blah, 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 blah. Even his wife was like, screw that guy, you know, that God or whatever. <laughs> he was faithful. God rewarded him, gave him four generations of family, blah, 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 that up. So I sat there because I believe in signs. And I was like, a word? <laughs> Are you testing me? I was like, okay, first of all, I'm never turning my back on you. I fucking love you. You're my, my but why? Like, I'm going to question you and I'm always going to talk to you and be like, what the fuck, bro? Because that's how we are. But I will never turn my back on you. Like, you're my ride or die. Like, and if there's anything that thinks that they're going to get in between me and God, like, fuck you. Screw you. And you know what happened? The next day, my back got better. <laughs> I swear to God. The next day, I was normal. Walking around like nothing had happened. And I was like, God's going to protect me. He's got my back. Uh-uh. All these tests, enough. You're not coming in this house anymore. I was like, get out. That's what it was. And I sound crazy. And this is freaking going to be recorded for life. But that's my testament. That's exactly what happened. And ever since then, I've been getting better. That was like Friday, Thursday. Yeah, and before that, I was walking with a cane, you guys. Like, I was in a lot of freaking pain. And I had that conversation with God and I don't know who. And I was like, get the fuck out of my house. Get out of my body. Leave me alone. That's my G. You're not going to get me to turn on him. Whatever. Woke up the next day. I was fine. Sounds crazy. I know it does. Didn't want to tell you. But that's exactly what happened to me. And I'm, I'm better now. I mean, it still hurts when I get up and sit down because my body is healing. But I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. Like, I could walk around. I couldn't walk before. Um, for long periods. I went to see the Book of Mormon yesterday. Ugh, I don't recommend spending money on that. Um, I went to a concert on Friday. I went to go see In Vogue. And I also think that helped me too because, again, the sound therapy. And I love them. And I was late because my back hurt so much that it hurt to get up. I didn't. I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to go. Screw the $100. But then I was like, no, I have to go. I love them. I took my taxi over there. Went. They had stairs. I was like, why don't you have a ramp? Went, saw the concert. I was so happy. So I think it's sound therapy as well. Came back, had that conversation, knocked out, and the next day I was fine. I don't know what to tell you. It sounds crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really not that religious, you guys. I'm really not. I mean, I grew up in the Catholic Church, and I believe in God, and I believe in God in multiple facets. I think we all worship God in different ways. Sometimes I wonder if there are multiple gods, but I'm still questioning that while I do the indigenous documentary. But, um, you know, like I do, I do love to study different religions. I have over 80 books on down to like the Jewish, I forgot what it's called, the Tanum, Tatnum, whatever. Uh, somebody told me to buy it and I still have to read it. Tanaka, Takana, <laughs> Tanak, I think is what it's called. Um, uh, the Quran, everything. I have all of these indigenous books, Tibet, Buddhism, all that. I, I just love and we're, and I respect every culture. Hinduism, I think it's fascinating. I'm getting into that now. Um, but it's just interesting how like everybody's developed a faith system depending on where they are at. But it's also, I think, depending on their ancestors and, and the proven, because you only have faith because of proof, right? Ugh, I don't want to get into this discussion. So that, we're not showing any more dresses, whatever. What do you want to know? <laughs> uh, music can heal for sure. Yeah. And so there's a concert coming up now on June 13th that I want to go to at Jones Beach Theater if anybody's in New York. Um, it's TLC and Vogue, Sean Kingston and Shaggy. And I was like, I'm going by myself if nobody wants to go with me because that sounds like a lot of fun. Go to the beach all day, get dressed, you know, like put your clothes on, walk over to Jones Beach Theater and watch a concert and then go home yeah so I'm thinking about doing that um I am talking to that guy I'm not seeing him per se um I want to he's the first guy in 20 years that I like I didn't like any of the guys that I've been dating for 20 years I just kind of was like 
well, this is what I got. And mind you, I've been to 27 countries. I've met over probably 10, 20,000 people. My dad was on the radio and TV. My mom was a climbing socialite who hung out with diplomats and ambassadors and all this other stuff. Like, they were constantly throwing me onto people to like, you know, like, here, go talk to their daughter, go talk to this person, go talk to that person, like, just to keep the room busy. You know what I mean? I'm very good with people. Uh, and I have task rabbit. I must have met at least. I've had over 2,000 tasks. So that right there is over 2,000 people whose homes I went into and I got to know, you know? Um, I don't like anybody. I'm a sapiophile. It's, it, I used to be a type A personality and now I'm a type B personality because I looked at my life and I said, this fuck this sucks and I don't want to live like this anymore. And if this is what life is like, this is not worth living, right? So I, I decided to just be a hippie, travel the world, like fill up my, my cup by myself because I didn't have a partner or at least anyone that like filled my cup up. Like when people touch me, I was like, no me tocas, I don't like you. And I loved touching. I love kissing, I love touching, but with the right person. This guy was that person. Like even when I look at his picture, I'm like, oh, I really like him. And like when he touches me, it's like electricity through my body. And it's the same thing for him. We're like, it's like an addiction. It's so weird. And, and neither one of he's, he's scared to feel this way. And I'm like, why? You know what I mean? But I have to respect his free will. I don't want to mess with anybody's free will. So it's kind of like, until you decide that you want to spend more time with me. Like out of nowhere, he just called me. He's like, I'm on my way home. You want to go for lunch? And we went for a quick lunch. That was four weeks of not seeing him he's just you know so then in the back of my mind I'm also like not a freaking retard sorry oh uh, don't get mad at me I'm sorry I was born in the 80s I apologize it comes out every now and then I'm really trying on it I'm really trying hard I'm sorry it does come out every so often but I you know I know it's wrong and I apologize so I'm not stupid he could be hanging out with other girls he could have like five six girls he could get back with his, he could be back with his ex and he just doesn't want to tell me but he doesn't want to let me go because he likes talking to me he texts me every morning and throughout the afternoon and then that's it and then he goes home and I don't hear from him but I also know that he goes to bed at like seven eight o'clock at night because he wakes up at four o'clock in the morning with a Chinese market because of his work you know what I'm saying so and when he's with me he's super tired at like 10 11 o'clock at night you know what I mean like and he stays up just for me that one night but it's a lot and it messes up his whole day the next day and I get it you know I don't I'm not gonna wait for him because you should never wait for anybody because you just pause your life and you and I did that and that's why I'm single at 43 because I waited hoping and praying that people I loved you know or cared for would come back and they didn't they moved on had kids had their own life then they came back and they're like if I knew then what I know now I would have chosen you blah 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 and I'm like bro seriously now um and so I just don't want to waste any more time so I went back on Facebook dating Met a few people, like, you know, talking to them, not met them. One guy wants to meet up for drinks, and I told him, I was like, I'm chubbier in person, I just have a pretty face, you know what I mean? But just so you know, FYI. Um, he lives right here. I'll hang out with him. I don't know, I just feel like, I just feel like a lot of guys are skeevy. Sorry. Um, the good ones are good, and the other ones are not. And, I don't know. You know when you like someone, you know when you don't? I don't like a lot of people. I could be friends with them. We could hang out. We could talk for hours on the phone. But I'm not letting you touch my body. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not letting your lips come near mine. But we could be friends and hang out and talk. And we can hang out every day. And I still am not going to like you. I don't know. I think it's because of all the coaching I did too. <laughs> kind of like, should have got married before I started that. Um, it changes your whole perception. Where are you? I feel you. Where's the cat? Oh, there you are. Um, I was like, I feel you on my legs. And yeah, so it kind of like threw me for a loop. So now I look at things. I've helped like at least 20 people catch their husbands cheating. <laughs> like I was like a private eye. Like we did research and, you know, like just I can't even get into it. I should write a book on how to catch your husband cheating because <laughs> I was good at it. Um, but yeah, so let me know <laughs> if I should continue with the sales on this channel I don't know if it was good or not uh, did it did it help you is it better to just put everything on eBay and then just quickly show you the clothes is it better to do it this way because then at least 
you can buy the stuff before it goes on eBay. I don't, I don't know how that works uh, or what you're thinking or how you're feeling. I do have a lot of things coming in. On the 18th, I have a client that's I had to go pick up stuff. She took her three months to get all this stuff together, so it must be a lot of stuff. She's like, how big is your car? And I was like, what are you giving me? She wants me to hold it for two months. I'm like, absolutely not. Let me show you. Right? I love Marilyn. Right? This is my desk. These are all my Christmas and birthday presents that I have to give out this year. But look. Do you see how much clothes are in my living room? That's my living room. Hold on. Then you see how pretty and nice it is over here. But look. There's even more clothes. And I'm selling this too. The Total Gym. I got another one with the footboard so that it can help me. So apparently if you have back pain also, the Total Gym. It's called the Total. This one's the Total Gym Pro. It doesn't have the foot thing. But basically what it is, is it's kind of like a rowing machine. And you get on it on your back. And it has like the, the, the ones after the Total Gym Pro. This is more for like legs and arms. This one. So I'm selling it for like 50 bucks on Craigslist. Um, and the one with the legs, it allows you to, to, to like lean on it and then slowly with no weight because, you, sorry, that was the chair. With no weight because you're on the sliding thing, go up and down. So you can slowly bend your knees and go up and down. And that helps you get the mobility back. The majority of back pain has to do with your glutes, which is your butt. You gotta make your butt and your thighs, the front thighs, strong. So I'm using that to kind of like work my legs out. And I think, I think this is happening to me because now I'm really focused on my fitness. I wanna get my core back and I wanna get my butt back and I wanna get my thighs back because I don't ever wanna suffer from back pain again, ever. And it was my fault for letting myself go. And I would let myself go for multiple reasons. Um, but I did, I did that, you know? So now I'm really focused on improving my fitness, especially with the arms, because that helps your back, you know, the back, like the back fat in the back, and the legs, um, just to make sure that at least my back is taken care of. Because once this, the muscles are solid around your back and your glutes and your thighs, you'll have less back pain. Like you hear people that are like, I cured my back pain, you know, uh, my chronic back pain, because they, they strengthen their core and the muscles. It's hard to do when you're out of shape and you don't want to really do anything. But I'm still I'm still at a place in my life where I'm like, you know, I got another 30 years. Might as well make them really good. Let me work out. So one of the things that you saw back there is that. Um, so I made space. I have a new background that I'm going to be using when I make videos. Um, it's going to be my perfumes in the background. It's really pretty. Um, it was always there. I just, you know, had stuff there. Um, I really want to do these giveaways so if you guys can like tell your friends and family share my videos if you think it would help somebody if you know a particular item um, I want to get this channel growing so we can get to a thousand but I also want to start giving stuff away because look at how much stuff I have I don't want this stuff in my house I don't want this stuff in my house um, I enjoy this life so far you guys aren't saying anything ask me questions talk to me send me your questions for sure in emails and then we'll, the next live I can answer your questions if you guys want um, get over here. <laughs> and, um, that was the Dior 999, but it kind of fell off. This is me with makeup on. This is minimal. This is how I usually go out if I have to go out somewhere. Um, which is just the eyeliner. It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation, just to cover up this and to look good on camera. It's really good for camera. And then the 999, and that was it. That's all the makeup I will ever wear, unless I really have to glam for, like, a nonprofit event or something like that. Um, so me and my mom at my 30th birthday, she bought me this. It was $300 at an estate sale. The inside stuff is from Bombay. If you guys remember that company, she has the same exact set, but she has more of the pieces at her house. So it's already understood. God forbid, you know, like I'm getting all of that later on in life. Um, and then, you know, whatever. So that's that. And then this is what the background looks like if I don't have, um, the mannequin there. So this is normally what my foyer looks like when you walk in. That's the water, actually. I the water. But I did put the mannequin there. And I was going to um, to turn the second bedroom. I don't know. It depends. Because this guy really doesn't bother me. And I could totally use the money. Uh, into a studio. But I think I'm just redoing my entire room. 
and I'm putting everything in like boxes and bags so that there's more room for me to walk around in and I'll just make it work in my room so I still have to decide if I want to do that I did try buy a car to, to finance two cars I got approved for both of them but I didn't like them and I'm like you know if I'm gonna spend 15 grand on a car I want to love it I don't want to like it I want to love it because I'm gonna be driving it for, for five to ten years I've always bought crappy cars, so I bought a crappy car for $2,500 from an old lady who looked like my best friend, the one that called me and talked about the Book of Job. She was like, oh, I'm Christian, I have 12 grandkids, blah, blah, blah. Lemon. Transmission issues. Smells like mold, it was stuck in the... But she covered it all up. The AC, she turned it on and then turned it off so I could hear the engine. The AC doesn't work. Just a lemon. So I'm driving it, and I told God, I was like, this is the last hoopty that I'm buying. That's it. You know? I'm gonna buy the car cash. I'm just gonna work my butt off. Buy the car cash, like eight or nine, it's eight or nine thousand cash, but it's fourteen thousand with the fees, with the tax and the warranty and all this other stuff that like the the loan fee and like just a bunch of other things. And I'm just like, you know what? I'd rather just pay cash and save five, six thousand dollars and get a car that I love. Oh, and full coverage. So if I get full coverage, my insurance charges me $1,000 a month because it has to cover the cost of the car. So then my insurance jumps up from $500 a month to 1000 and I was like, I can't justify that. So I didn't get any of the vehicles. I didn't love them. I want a Pathfinder. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm going to wait. So that's where I'm at with that. Have you categorized the items? By the way, I love your vibe. Hey, Sharon. Aw, thank you, sweetie. Um, categorize the items. What do you mean the items? The items that were for sale? Um, so in the description box, they're all listed. So if there's anything that you guys want, you can email me and tell me that I want this item. Or you can tell Chick Benet she's in there keeping track of everything. Um, and then I can contact you. We can figure out how to do the sale and just get, get it all done. They're really beautiful. I mean, there's so many more items. I just... I lost my juice. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. Um, this is what my hair looks like when I don't put a lot of product in it. Like I literally just let it dry with a little bit of conditioner. I'm trying to not use product because I've been washing my hair and I'm telling you handfuls of hair are falling out. And then when I straighten my hair, it was like, it was like some parts were long and some parts were really short. And I was like, you know what? Calmate. Don't touch it. Don't do nothing. So now what I used to do was I used to put my hair in a pineapple. And sleep like that but now what I'm doing is I'm wrapping like a silk scarf around this edge right here to keep it together and I'm able to make it last longer with less product and then I took that cake which I'm actually I reviewed it but I didn't post it yet it's like this curl definition thing called cake and it smells like cake it's freaking amazing so I mixed it with water in that spray bottle and I put that in my hair and that's what I did today and I mean I'm okay with it um yeah Thank you, Sharon. So when this goes live, after I turn this off, I guess if it's recorded and then you guys can watch it later, people can say what they want and stuff like that. And then I'll get back to them and I'll, I'll mail everything out. Um, I just need feedback if you guys think I should do this. Thank you for listening to me. Me and all my crazy. Um, <laughs> and um, don't mean to preach God because I'm not preaching God. Like I'm just not. I'm just telling you what happened to me. And I was just like, did this really work? <laughs> yes, it did. Um, I don't go to church. I watch Joel Olstein every now and then. The guy that I was dating goes to church every Monday and Wednesday when he drops his kid off at school. So I ask him to give me his sermons, but he feels uncomfortable because he's like, I feel like, you know, like it's my personal time with God and sharing it with you. And I was like, you are a patron of God. You're supposed to be sharing it with me anyway because you're supposed to spread his word and all. I was like, and I'm asking you, so you should be helping enlighten, enlighten my life. You know, and in my mind, I was thinking, well, if we ever have a future together, we'll be going to church anyway, because the family needs God. But we're not going to have a future together. I, I don't know. I don't know. God is weird, right? Weird. So everyone keeps telling me, oh, you're going to meet someone when you go out. So I've been like going out. Like I went to see the Book of Mormon. I went to go to see in Vogue. I didn't meet anybody. I'm going out now for Memorial Day. I go to physical therapy three to five times a week. You know what I mean? Haven't met anybody. I met one guy when I was looking for the car, but I don't like him. He's nice, though. I mean, like, I like talking to him, but I didn't like him because he looked like a player, and he seemed like a player, and he smelled like a player. Don't ask. It's just a thing. It's like a vibe, right? And he's from, like, Ridgewood. Don't, don't, don't get mad at me. 
and um, he has a detailing business, so he details all the cars on the lot. And he's like, you know, and I was like, oh, you know, because the guy I'm dating doesn't have time. And he's like, yeah, but if he has multiple businesses like me, which my guy does, um, but my guy has better businesses and more of scale businesses and whatever. He's like, you know, I have a real estate, but this is what this guy was saying. He's like, I have a real estate business. I have a detailing business. I have three other businesses. I'm too busy. I don't have time to date. You know what I mean? I don't even have time, you know, but if I meet a girl and I like her, I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to spend time with her when I can, but my businesses come first. And I was like, okay, well, let me ask you a question. Why do you have all this? What do you need all this money for? To take care of a, a family? You want to have a wife and kids? How are you going to have a wife and kids if you don't date, any, if you don't date somebody? If you don't spend time with somebody, how you, like, what, would you, what are you doing just so that you can live life and party and holler all day and be like, bum, bum, bum at the strip club? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's good to have money and secure your future, but like, don't you want someone to spend it with? Right? So, I don't know. There's just something. I mean, he's not bad. The number's there. I wasn't feeling it. You know, like when I thought of procreating, <laughs> procreating with that man, I was like, I mean, our kids would be cute. He was handsome. Our kids would be gorgeous. He has like blonde hair and light skin, but he was Spanish, um, Puerto Rican. And, I don't know. I just, I knew I wasn't going to like his friends or his family. I don't know. I don't get mad at me. I just knew it. I was like, mm. no, thank you. This guy, I love everything about him. I know I would love his family and his friends and his, I just know it because we get along so well and we're like so in sync. And like when he came to my house, he was like, and I was like, it's very similar to the aesthetic of his house that he was so shocked and surprised because I'm a task rabbit and I was building furniture for him. He didn't expect it. And then when he asked me like what high school I went to, I, I told him and he was like, you went to the high school? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, and we were talking about colleges and I was like, yeah, I got a full scholarship. And he's like, what? I, academic because, you know, my mom was like, if you want to go to college, you have to get a scholarship. I, I lost 5,000 of the academic scholarship my second semester because my grade point was 0 0.1, 0 0.1 below what the minimum was. So then I had to get a $5,000 loan and I ended up having $20,000 of student debt, which is nothing compared to the 80, 100 something thousand my friends had. Um, but yeah, I had to get an academic scholarship because my mom was like, no, I'm not paying for anything. <laughs> All right, I say so. Um, nobody has questions? I mean, I just, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, log off then because I don't know it's weird how many people are in the chat 14 <laughs> hey it's my first live I'm at piece of 16 oh thank you everybody thank you so much hey it's my first chat it's my first live um, so let me know what you want me to talk about in the next live should I do it Wednesdays at 8 o'clock should I do it every Wednesday should I do it every other Wednesday um, when I'm in Maui with Honey Girl K, we're totally going to do a live at 8 o'clock e uh, Eastern Standard Time, which is going to be really late there. It's like midnight over there, right? Right? How was the time difference? We just like listening to you. What? Why? Okay. No, really? <laughs> um, what topics do you want me to, do you want me to, I don't know. I'll get some wine at this point. Like, what time is it? 10 o'clock? I don't have anything to do tomorrow. All I got to do is physical therapy. I renewed my notary license tonight, so I'm, I'm going to be a virtual notary, which means I think I could notarize documents throughout the United States. I just have to check. I just have to be in New York. The, a person doesn't have to be in New York. I think certain documents have to be notarized in that state. I have to see what the law entails. But I did go, I everything filled everything out, paid my fee, so now I just need them to get back to me, give me my new notary number so I can get new notary stamps. And then I'll be able to, and then sign up with a virtual notary service. So I'm going to be able to do that because I want to have a baby and I want to find jobs that I can do that allow me to stay home and get pregnant because I had a miscarriage because I was working and my boyfriend put me in a lot of stress because he was cheating on me because he's a douche, which is why I will never speak to him again. Um, and he was like, go back to work. And I was like, I'm, I'm 40 years old and I'm overweight. I'm high risk and he's like no that's normal you just go live your life until the third trimester and then you can, the second trimester you take it easy so I went back to work and what do you think happened right so I decided that if I am going to get pregnant again if it does happen if I do find someone and I'm like oh you know and God is like yes love. right <laughs> let there be light you know and then you give light and, and when I went to Peru that's what they called giving birth the adar luz to give light so you take your light you give it 
and then another light is created from the two lights of the two people that come together. It's so pretty, it's so pretty, it's beautiful. A dar luz is what Spanish people say, indigenous people, to give light. Um, then I need to make sure that I have income, not stressing out, you know what I mean? So like the books that I'm writing, the virtual consultations, the virtual notary stuff, I'm renewing my life insurance license. So there was this company that wanted me to work with them. They work with like the union. I don't want to do that though. Um, but I still have my life insurance license and I'm studying for my series six in June. I'm going to start studying for it. So I figure if I get my finance series six license and then my series 63, that opens the door for me to get into finance and you can do a lot of things from home with that. Um, so that's kind of like where I'm gearing towards because I do want a more like remote at home life because I don't care about where I live I just want to be at peace and to be honest my dream is to buy an abandoned estate with a swimming pool and a tennis court and then that long pool that's surrounded by gardens I just would never get it it's I'm putting it out there right and then like dilapidated messed up estate super cheap and then room by room <laughs> Fixing it. Fix the bedroom first so I could live in there. And room by room, break down the walls, take out everything, fix it, put in new copper, put in it. And, and room by room, it'll be three, four year project, but I'm going to have my estate and it's going to be super cheap. And then I'll get the, the pool. You know, I think you could basically line it. My friend does that every year. She like paints it with this thing until you can actually tile it. Um, and then the tennis court, you have to get redone. But if it's there, it's easier to get redone than if it's not. So that's the dream. Like, I mean, really? Probably. I don't want to be negative. But that's the dream. That's the dream. So I keep applying to like different giveaways where they're giving away a house. <laughs> I go online and I look for these things and I'm like, yeah, I'll enter that giveaway. I enter that sweepstakes. Maybe one day I'll win a car or a house. I enter all these things to win a car and a house. And I'm like, who knows? Maybe one day I'll win a car and a house. But, <laughs> ¿por qué no? Why not me? Uh, <coughs> Carrie Bradshaw vibes? Me? What? <laughs> Stop. I love her. I wish I had Manolo's like that. What? And her body size? She's really skinny, though. I'm okay being a 9'10". I don't need to be a 2'4". Mm. Latina. You're so beautiful. Thank you, Charlotte. Belleza. Um, I love lives. Col collabing. Yeah, so, yeah, I want to collab with her. So I think Honey Girl K and I will do a collab first. And then we'll go... You want to go to Copenhagen? And then... <laughs> girl? And then we'll go... Um, I'll go to Maui. I want to go. It's better to go in the winter, right? Because it's warm there in the summer. In the winter. Because it's cold here. So then I got to talk to my Tantra teacher. I hope she's still alive. She was 76. Like, it's 2014. Damn, that's a long time. She's old now. I have to go visit her before anything happens. So I'm going to call her. Make sure she's still there. Talk to her and be like, I'm coming to visit you. But she tries to charge me like $100 a day to stay with her. She has like a, a house and then a guest house, and she tries to charge me like a hundred dollars a day to stay with her. And at first, I was like, Absolutely not, I'll stay at a hotel. But you know, she's older, so I'm gonna do hi, Mama Chica Linda. I'm gonna feed you in a bit. Um, so but now I'll pay it because I mean, I don't have money like that. I'm literally living off my savings right now because of the car accident. I'm not working. We're trying to figure out if no fault's even gonna cover my wages because I wasn't making that much money last year compared to this year. Um, so, because my dad was sick, so I was taking care of my dad. So I was living off my savings, taking care of my dad. So I only made like $14,000 last year, which is like nothing. Um, because, you know, my dad needed me, you know. So, and it was, it was the first year where he didn't speak. Like, he, we didn't know, I didn't know what to do. You know, I was like, uh, they just called me and they're like, in May. And they're like, your dad just had a stroke. He's at the hospital. What do you want us to do? Should we do a surgery? And I'm like, I don't know. And sometimes I wonder if they didn't do the surgery, would he have lost his ability to speak in the right side of his body or would not? You know, like I always wonder, like, was it the surgery that caused him to lose that part or would he have lost it had he not had the surgery? 
you know, they put like a stent. I don't even know what a stent is still. Um, so that always bothers me. Like, what if, if if he hadn't had it? Like, what would he be like? Would he have recovered? You know, because I know I had my knee surgeries and my back surgery from the car accident. And I just, the pain from this car accident back pain was worse than before. And obviously it got better. But the other one wasn't getting better. Because that was February and I had the surgery in June. So three months I had back pain. But it wasn't as bad as this, but it was bad. This one was really bad for a month. And then it just disappeared. Not disappeared, it's still there. Like they're still, you know. But it's better than before. You know, like I thought I was going to be paralyzed this time. So I wonder like if I didn't do the arthroscopy surgeries or the next surgery, it was called a percutaneous dissectomy where they take out a little bit of liquid from your back. Would I have been, would I have healed naturally? But the reason I had the percutaneous dissectomy in my neck is because this arm was literally just going numb. Like I couldn't move it. So I had nerve damage. So they had to take the liquid out. So I think that one I think was necessary. The back pain, it did help a little, you know, it did help for five years um, until now that it was aggravated because of this accident. But I just wonder with the knees, like, did I really need them? Because a lot of people say they didn't, they didn't get the arthroscopy and they healed themselves. They just had to build a muscle up around the knee. Um, and like, I just feel like, do we need these surgeries? You know what I mean? Like, you never know. But that's just some of the things I think about. Gotta be me. Hey, girl. Um, yeah, so when, when it actually, when you actually see it, the first, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes is the actual sale. And then it just, I'm going to watch this over and be so embarrassed. And then <laughs> it's just me. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I don't think there's any more questions. Winter. Okay, so winter. I'm going to come in winter. So I'll be going to Maui this summer, this winter, mm. after Thanksgiving, before Christmas, probably. It's usually the best time, but my friends go rock climbing Thanksgiving weekend. Maybe October or January, I think. I'll probably go. And then I do want to go to Copenhagen, you guys. Does anybody want to go to Copenhagen with me? I'm not kidding. $1,000 dinner, 8-hour, 50-course tasting. Let me see if I could find it so I could put it in the chat, bro. That's amazing. I see. I just sent it to my friend. Because she's the only person that would do something like that. Literally. Like, we've spent $500 on dinners at, like, Le Bernardine and, and Ifiori and stuff like that. But those are, like, seven-course tastings with the wine pairing. And it's an ex exquisite experience. Like, I do that maybe once a year, once every two years, just because I understand how these people live. Because <laughs> I want to live like that too, you know. But I mean, you can't eat like that all the time. So I found it. Let me go on Facebook. Hold on, on Facebook, on YouTube. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Where is it? Here. Can I leave a message? Yeah, chat publicly. Okay, so I'm putting the link for that dinner. It's I'm like. Put it in the chat. Oh look, there I am. Hi. So let me just close this. So. <laughs> So, um, so you guys can watch the video of the guy doing the 50 course tasting. And I was like, this was six months ago. And I, was, I, I just watched the video today and I'm like, oh, I'm going, I'm, I'm going, this is, this is how I get into these messes. I'll sit there and I'll watch a video and then the, the seed has been planted. And once the seed is planted, you cannot get it out of my head. And I work and I strive to get what I want. And then I put my money aside and I look at the rates and I look at the flights and I look at the hotels and then I look like where's the neighboring country because I want to hit at least one or two countries or you know one or two cities. I'm not trying to just go there one time. I'm not one of these people. I go there once, I don't come back. And then I try to find indigenous people so I can do the documentary so I could write some of this stuff off. And then I'm like, okay. And then I got the money and then I do it. And I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And I usually go by myself because I can't find anybody to go with me. But I'm not going to stop living my life because nobody wants to go with me. I learned that in high school. I was like, wait a minute, I want to go to the show. Nobody wants to go with me. And then I was like, if I wait for someone to go with me, I'm going to miss the show. I don't want to do that. And then I started. <laughs> so I do everything by myself. I go to the movies by myself. I get massages by myself. I go and have dinner by myself. Like, I don't care because if I wait for people, I would never get anything done. Nothing. Um, so I met these travel people because I, I booked a trip by myself but it was like with a group and they liked me so they started inviting me i went to like 14 countries with them 
And that's kind of like how I travel. I travel with them or I travel alone. Peru, that was really interesting. A whole month by myself in Peru. But I had my travel guy, the one that, that books all the trips, he connected me with a tour guide and she booked everything for me. So she was like with me, but she wasn't with me. You know what I'm saying? Like she booked everything and she double checked and I talked to her every day. So I didn't feel alone. You know what I mean? I've never traveled alone, like in Spain, two days, maybe. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I was like, I don't like this. Nobody knows where I'm at. I don't have anybody to check in on me. And like, I just didn't like it. So I, I still have to, I have to find like a point of contact in Copenhagen so that I don't feel alone because I don't like traveling alone. I think it's weird for me. Some people are like, freedom! and I was like, well, I don't have anything holding me back. So I don't need freedom. I already have freedom. Um, the restaurants. I'm ignorant to that wealth too. No, I I look up the, the Michelin restaurants. So the restaurants are it's I Fiori. They're in Manhattan. I Fiori. There's a promotion. Let me find it for you. It's a website. It's called Travel Zoo. Hi, Mama Sita. Dame un momento. She's hungry. But I, I like to feed her later. But then she starts meowing in the morning and wakes everybody up. So I'm like, the later I feed her, the later I can feed her in the morning and then I can sleep late. Come here. You want to say hi to everybody? Come. Nope. Okay. So here we go. We're doing restaurant deals. I'm going to put the link for that restaurant deal. Um, I usually do it all the time, but this time I'm not paying for it. Because I always pay for it, and then I end up not getting reimbursed. I Fiori. I Fiori. And normally, uh, okay, would you stop? Normally, um, a tasting, here we go. Let me just put the link for you guys. Come in and see if anybody wants to go. I'll go half and half with you because I, I love that restaurant. I never get tired of it. It's always a new experience. Where are you? Okay, I don't need this. Where are you guys? Oh, there you are. That's the deal. So that website, TravelZoo.com, has a lot of like the high, highly rated Michelin restaurants, and you get really good deals. There's another website. Oh, that's my other page, New York on a Budget. So on Facebook, I have a page called New York on a Budget. It's called Facebook.com slash NYOAB. I should actually put Facebook.com. And New York on a Budget is actually the LLC that I have that's going to fund my books. Because it's like one of my books is like how to, they have to do with saving money and being on a budget, whatever. Um, so I list all of the restaurants that I find. So sometimes you, I, have, I get deals where it's 50 bucks for two people, three course dinner and a bottle of wine or two cocktails for 50 bucks. That's like ridiculous in New York. Um, and then you just pay tax and tip, which is like another $20, 30 dollars. Um, but it's still a good deal considering like how much food you're getting. Sometimes they're tastings and things like that. That's another website. It's called Pulsed. This is all in my book. So when it comes out, oh, no, sorry, wrong. I spelled it wrong. Pulse. Well, that's because spell check keeps messing me up. Stop. Pulse.com. It's that one. Um, so they, they have really good deals and that's how I usually go out with my friends where I'm like, Hey, you want to go? And then I'll buy the promotion and then they pay the tax and tip or vice versa. Um, there's more tips and tricks in the book. So I paid somebody $1,500 to publish my book. It's been two years and she hasn't done it. And I've been texting her and I'm like, what are you going to publish it? Like she showed me everything. The ISBN number is there. I made the front cover, the back cover, and I wrote it. I had it edited. I had it to edit it twice because I didn't know what I was doing. So the first time the editor fixed everything because I used Grammarly. And apparently Grammarly is not how you write a book. It's how you write emails. Very different format. So the editor came in, changed everything, put the commas, the colons, everything. Fine. Then the pandemic happened, which is when I should have published the book. But then I had to change a few things. It took her like a year to do the edits. Because every time I was like, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready, she didn't do anything. Her name is Durashe Zorn. I'm shouting her out. And she's like this Christian person that talks about like, oh, the kingdom of Christ. And she goes all over Africa doing all these women empowerment speeches. And she's not a bad person. She just didn't do what she was supposed to do, which was publish my book. It's not that hard. It's, and I told her, I said, you don't have to publish the hard copies right now because it was $1,500 with 50 copies of the book and then the ebook format. And she was going to put it on Barnes and Nobles and Amazon. She does the front, the back cover, 
registers it with the ISBN and the Library of Congress. Like, I, all of that. And I was like, I don't want to deal with that. You do it. Because I thought it was going to be quick. I had to report her to the Better Business Bureau because I was like, you know, she didn't respond to my text messages or my emails. She did publish my friend's book. That's how I met her. And my friend was like, what? I was like, could you talk to her and be like, what is up? I sent her emails, text messages, nothing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna figure it out this week and I'm going to publish, e-publish my own book and I'll figure it out because I can't wait for people anymore. Then I'm going to write my second book, which is a follow-up. So the first book is How to Live a 200K Lifestyle on a 50K Budget, which is I'm showing you right now. I do these promotions and these deals and stuff like that. And I get things really, really cheap. Then the other book is like how to start a business with no money. Like, well, minimal money because you do need some money. But you can start a business without money. Um, if you want to build a website, then you need to pay for the hosting, the domain. That's different. Then that's a whole other chapter. But there are other ways to do things. And I'm going to talk about that in that book. Then there's the book on my ex-boyfriend, The Trauma. And then... <laughs> And then there's um, a book on another life experience that I had. And then I have other things, projects that I started in my teens that I want to work on, um, that I want to finish. Like one was a play that I wanted to publish in, or I wanted to produce in like the Washington Heights Spanish area, because that's more of like that demographic. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of creativity and things that I want to let out of my soul. Um, I don't know how to do it. I'm just doing it. And I think that's, like how I guess you get things done, you just do it and you're like, oh, well, that didn't work. Uh, try something else. You know, <laughs> that didn't work either. Hmm. Okay, we'll try that. You know, <laughs> that's, what, that's what my life has been. Um, and I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for that moment where like something goes viral or something gets big. And I'm like, finally, I could take a week and rest and not have to be hustling all the time. Oh, there you are. Come here. Um, like trying to get the next dollar, you know what I mean? Like doing TaskRabbit and like these random jobs and like people call me for the weirdest things and I'm like, sure, yeah, I could drop that off for you, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, you need me to sell this on eBay for you? Well, sure. You know, um, there was a time that I actually would go on Craigslist under the free section and I would look for records and books but people that had a lot, like boxes, like somebody had just died and they were just getting rid of all our stuff. That's why I wanted to start the estate sale business, but I don't have a warehouse, but one day I will. And um, on my estate, I'm going to build one in the backyard, right? And, then, <laughs> and I would just pick them all up and then sell them on eBay and sell them, you know, like through websites that bought things in bulk. And you would just like scan the car, the barcode, and you, you know, like maybe for 10 books you got $20, you know, but hey, I have 100 50 books and they maybe accepted a hundred of them that's a hundred dollars you know what I mean for the most part or like you know so it's not like that anymore though because that was back then now that I don't do it anymore because it's not as lucrative because they don't pay as much that's when the companies were first starting so they would pay more but now they're big so now they want to give you like 16 cents a book and I was like yo bro but they also have to pay for the shipping so I get it and the processing and all that but I'm like 16 cents knowledge is worth more than that Mommy, she's so hungry. All right, I think I should go feed her. So, um, don't forget to like the video. <laughs> I love you, Chick Vinay. <laughs> 18 people, like the video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I think we're done, right? I don't know. Uh, leave your comments for sure. What do you want? Like the notebook. What do you want? What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want to see? What do you want to hear? What do you want? Um, and I will deliver as you wish. What is it? What content do you want to see here? Do you like more of the surfing videos? Do you like more of the unboxings? Do you like more of the reviews? Do you want to see more styling videos? Which is what I'm going to start doing this summer. All my I have videos published until August. Just so you guys know. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until August and some Saturdays. So I have a lot of content that's coming out. But in between, I'll make videos for the giveaways. We're two subscribers away. Did we did we hit that number? From 9.50. I'm going to straighten my hair tomorrow. So I'll make the video after I do that. I'm just refreshing to see if we got to 9.50.
Oh, one subscriber away. <laughs> Yo, bro, 51 subscribers from 1,000 and 999,900. No, that's not right. 999, nope. Yeah, 999,900, no. 999,050 subscribers away from a million. And and I'm not giving away the Mercedes at a million. Like, oh, I love it when you lick my feet. And it's just like, freaking comfortable. And cats. Uh, dogs are weird though, because they got the big long tongues and that's weird. Um, So she... Oh, she's so hungry. That's all. She only licks me when she's hungry. She'll lick my hands. She'll lick my arms. She'll lick anything because she's hungry. She's like, I'm hungry. I'd rather, I'm, I'm going to eat you because I'm so hungry. I'm like, oh, she's mad at me right now. She's looking at me like, are you mocking me? <laughs> are you? Oh, okay. I'm going to go feed her. I'm going to go now. I'm getting in trouble. So, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll give you what you want, what you really, really want. Just tell me, right? Um, I'm not Honey Girl's cousin. I wish I was, but nope. She's in Hawaii. I'm in New York. Not related in any way whatsoever. But I think we are soul sisters. <laughs> She's, you know, when people interact with me, um, it means a lot. And I'm all about connections. And she interacted with me. And I found her store on my own. Like, I went and, on her page and I looked at her videos. Because she was liking a lot of my videos and leaving comments. And then I saw her store and I was like, oh, entrepreneur, love supporting entrepreneurs. Awesome. Let me see what I can buy from her store. Right. So I bought the sarong because she didn't have the sneakers that I wanted. I'm going to keep saying it until you get them back in stock because they were awesome. And I really want those sneakers. <laughs> and um, Temu, did you see these sneakers on Temu? Let me put the link on there. They look like Converse, but they have like a wave. They're so cool. Let me show you. I have it in my cart. I'm going to order them. Um, those are cool sneakers and then the pop art ones too so I, I just got two pop art dresses from Shein which I really don't like Shein I don't support them as a brand or anything but they had the pop art dresses that I wanted and the budget that I was looking for and then they popped up on Temu because that's what Temu does hold on cart so I'm going to put the link for those sneakers I'm going to get those next I like them a lot I like them a lot um, I really should go. I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> I really don't. Nothing. I'm literally going to take all the giveaways, right? And I was going to put them in one bag so that they're always there. So when I do the giveaway videos, they're all in one bag. And then I'm going to take all the other giveaways and put them in like this crate thing that I have that like it closes. And then I have room there. Here it is. Hold on. Let me get the... I have 151 things in my cart, but not because I'm buying them. It's because I'm making videos on them for you guys. They have like, um, I don't know if you guys saw it, Super Mario and Luigi hats. I think that's in like my third what, WTF video. Anyways, I'll put the link there in a minute. It's just taking a long time because I'm, I'm streaming. But yeah, that's it. I think we're done. Don't forget to like the video. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're done. Let me just put this link in the chat. There they are. My heart hurts. I think I need to eat. I don't think I ate today. I know that sounds weird, right? Sometimes I'm just so busy I forget to eat. Um, and today was a busy day because I was renewing my licenses. I have to take a 22 hour course, renew my real estate license, and then I have to take a compliance course and then I have to take a test to renew my life insurance license, but I have to get that done before June. And then I have to start studying for the other thing. And then all my licenses are up to date. Um, I'm putting the link in now, control V. Um, let's see if it works. Oh, it's too many. Too many characters.
Okay. So now you guys have the link to the sneakers. Let me click it, make sure it works. I think it's because I'm sitting on a stool and my back is hunched instead of straight. I had to. So now it's hurting my heart, like the pressure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it works. Sixteen seventy nine. They're cute. They look Japanese almost. But that's what I got for you guys. Thank you, eighteen people. Thank you so much. Thank you for the thumbs up for the people that thumbs up the video, liked it. Um, I'm gonna let this go and publish, I guess, because then it publishes as like a a video that everyone can access. Uh, well, but if you want to know what sizes would be looking for, hate to admit it. Oh, me too. Okay, no, girl, I was trying to find out. There are some things I tried on, like the kimono. This one, if you wear it open, it fits. This is a small. I'm like, girl, I could wear that. <laughs> and I can. And it has a belt, but I wouldn't belt it because then, then it shows. But let me just show you. And this one's 15 for the top, but you have to pay $10 for shipping, so 25 because I ship everything priority. So you see how, like, the, the sleeves are wide, and then you just wear it open like that. It's a small because it's supposed to be really oversized, but I could rock it. I would totally rock this if, you know, if it were blue because I don't really wear a lot of red. So this one I have. Then there was the 14P which is this jacket. This is the Briggs 14P jacket, and I also have it in red. And it fits like this, because, I mean, you're probably big chested like me, right? Um, so it would fit like this, and you could even just zhuzh up the sleeves like that, and you could wear it like that. And it does close on me, because it is stretchy, but I wouldn't wear it closed, because I just feel like it's too short. But it works if you leave it open. So this is a 14P and I also have it in red. And if you wanted both of them, it would be $30 for the, the red jacket like this. It looks and feels like suede, but it's not. Like a, you know, like a brushed cotton kind of feeling. I love this jacket. I mean, if nobody buys it, I might just keep this one and wear it. Because this is actually pretty cool to wear in the summer with like dresses and stuff. Like when you want something, but you don't want to like too much. And then there were some other items, but I didn't show them because I, I started talking to you guys. Oh, this one's really nice. This would just be for you guys, I guess. Um, this is Zara Medium. But look at how pretty that is. With tags, new with tags. This is uh, $15. And, but look at the buttons. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. And then it has this that you could just tie in the front if you want to. You could even tie it in the back. Some people will tie it like that. I mean, you do whatever you want. And some people will just put it in the shirt and not be bothered with it. But it's like this very romantic, relaxing shirt. And it's, it's like, um, you can see like chemise, I think it's what it's called. It's like a, a light polka dot that's kind of, this is beautiful. And this is a medium. Will it fit me? It's not going to fit my arms. I think I tried that. <laughs> I'm, I'm like that giant child that's like, oh, maybe. I mean, I'm not going to put it on because I don't want to break it. Yeah, I'm not going to put it on. It's not going to go over my, my chest for sure. And it was originally $45. So it's brand new with tags. It's $15. It's really pretty. Great for work. Great for lunches, brunches, romantic things. Um, you know what this reminds me of? Do you remember the movie Labyrinth? Where she, um, she's outside and she's like role playing and she's like, da -da 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 -da. like this is a shirt that she was kind of wearing. Anything else in that side? This is Rage Against the Machine if anybody's into that. You guys saw the Tupac one if you missed it. This one is a size medium, 10 bucks plus the shipping. And it's like a Rage Against the Machine concert. I mean, I, it's not me, but it's in excellent condition. It looks brand new. I don't even know if this person ever really wore it. This one is secondhand. Um, I do have some double X stuff. This. 
this pip rope, you missed it. It's a size small, <laughs> but it's like, you can't close it if you're a double XL, but you could totally rock it out like a robe. <laughs> I call it the pimp robe because I feel like it's like a pimp, you know, like you wear like a black cat suit with like the, the, <laughs> the stiletto heels and you're just like, you know, and it's a small, it's supposed to be a robe. That you, I mean, you can wear it like this. I mean, I'm a double XL, I'm a size 18. And I could wear it, but I just think it looks weird to wear it as a robe at home. Um, but I mean, this will fit up to a large very comfortably. But it's this is secondhand, and it's Garnet Hill in a small. That cracked me up. And then I do have some double XL stuff, but it's going to be expensive, like... 40 to 60 dollars if you go to my ebay page i do have some items that you guys can um, look at i do have an extra large trina turk top i think i have a dress and i do have the banana republic royal blue jacket That'll fit a double XL. I think it's a size 16 or something or 18. It's big. It fits me. Um, that's beautiful. It's really nice for the winter. I was actually going to keep it for myself, but I have like 60 coats. <laughs> Can I open it? I don't think it's going to open. I have this closet that's like Chronicles of Narnia. Nope, it's not open. And it has like this key. And sometimes it opens and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> and today it's not opening. So basically this closet, I got for free. I just had to pay $30 to have it delivered. Isn't that gorgeous? I know, that's all the stuff from when I had the car accident. You see my broken boot and then my driver thing and I keep all the tissues up there. But that was all the stuff I needed while I was healing from the car accident. And I keep it because you never know when you need it again, like recently. Um, but you see that big closet right there? I got that whole thing for free on Craigslist. I just had to pick it up. They just wanted it gone. I was like, done. <laughs> I'm coming to get it. <laughs> and I, and when I, I had a friend who had a moving... Oh, App Deco. You know, A-P-T-D-E-C-O dot com. That's my friend's company. Well, it's a guy that I met because he was doing these sales. And they had warehouses full of stuff. And every month they would just give the stuff away for free. Just get it out of the warehouse. So this was one of those items. I became friends with him. We're not really friends, but like we're cordial. And if I text him, he'll reply. And he's like nice to me. Um, he's actually one of the principles in the company he has like a lot of stock in that company and it blew up it's all over the country now aptdeco.com app deco um so if you need furniture or you're selling your secondhand furniture you can sell it on appdeco.com and they have people that pick it up and deliver it for you so once it sells they will pick up the furniture and bring it to the other house Sometimes they used to pick it up and store it, which is how this came to be. This was, I think, from Macy's or something. And after 30 days, if you don't pick it up, they discard it. So I got, I got it for free. A-P-T-D-E-C-O dot com. So that's a great way to get furniture. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Hasta luego, babies. Mwah.